Let's get this card. Mama. Oh, God. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Max. So we're here, back on Skeptic's Corner. Oh, yeah. Long awaited. Long awaited. By like four people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. the. Oh, I think the last Skeptic's Corner we did was the shapeshifter girl. Uh, no, no, the thing on the building. Did we do the thing on the building? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But today, it's people in space. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Lost people in space. Lost in space. <laughs> We're not talking like, um, you know, you know, with the, you the know. The robot the, and, and, and Judge Peterson. What was the creepy doctor's name? Yeah, I'm trying to think of his name, but I've drawn uh, a blank. I, why did I call him Judge Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, oh the God. Robbie the robot or whatever, and he's got the, the tent, well, not tentacle arms, but like oh, a weird oh, oh, bubble oh, oh. arms. Dr. Doctor Smith, right? Oh, I think so. I think so, yeah. Anyway, it's not Captain Peterson. Dr. <laughs> Peterson, I don't know. God, two, a minute and a half. We're, we're, we're cosmonauts, people. Yeah, we're talking about lost cosmonauts. They're missing. Uh, not really, but They're maybe. Miss, they're missing. They're not missing much. So it's a, it's this big old conspiracy theory that um, uh, states that the, basically the the Soviets um, uh, entered outer space and uh, well I mean obviously they entered outer space but like they had um, uh, manned space missions like to the moon and stuff before America got their uh, button gear basically. Huh. Huh. But before you get all excited and think there's like zombie, you know, Russian spacemen waiting to jump out of their capsules and gobble you up in the night, uh, in the late uh, 80s when the Soviet Union fell, all that inform or late 90s, I mean, when the Soviet Union uh, fell or early 90s, late 80s, whatever, um, a lot of that information became declassified and pretty much put all that thought to rest because it it had all the information about all the cosmo cosmonauts who. Uh, you know, lived and died. A lot of them died here on terra firma during, um, you know, training exercises and whatnot. And only a few actually made it to space. Ha! Huh. I know. Um, there's a couple, like, big theories. One of them is, uh, like a Czech Republic, uh, high-ranking communist officer dude leaked some information, uh, to an Italian news agency. But that was debunked. There was the these two uh, amateur radio uh, operators who made a story about some cosmonauts. They like typed in their signal and recorded it and whatever. Hmm. And it brought interest to the subject, but I mean that was also debunked pretty mm. quickly. Hmm. So you know, <clears throat> these silly cosmonauts. Yeah, cosmonauts. Just, just disappearing. Just, just disappearing. These silly cosmonauts. It's just—it's a scary thought, though. I don't know if you guys saw Gravity, or not, starring George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. But um, I just call her face. She does have a nice face. He has a nice face too. I mean, I'm not gonna uh, lie. She um, <laughs> thank you for breaking my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, she uh, spoiler alert. She gets like uh, disconnected from her space shuttle and uh, floats around for a bit. Very scary scenario. Eventually makes it back to Earth. Up, uh, oh, there goes the ending. Anyway, but to think about that, I mean, that's really terrifying. It's like you know, you go on a spacewalk, everything's chill. All of a sudden, you're you realize that you didn't tether yourself to your spacecraft and you're just floating away from Earth. You know, that's <clears throat> it's pretty terrifying to think about. Well, it about. almost it almost happened. For real, uh, you know everybody knows Apollo thirteen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, they almost got launched out in the space. Mm -hmm. Never got back. So, but they did get back. <clears throat> uh, and uh, it's kind of this kind of this story kind of goes along the lines of of Kendall's two cosmonauts that were picking up a uh, phantom signal. I guess a kid had built his own radio like this in the fifties. Whenever they were doing space crap, and he was hearing this weird signal. Uh, come over his, you know, come over his, what, what do you call that? Like your band? 
I don't know, your your frequency. Yeah, frequency. Whatever, whatever. It would come into range and it would fade out of range like at certain parts of the day. And he was hearing Morse code and, and Russian and, and uh, you know, SOS. And they sounded like they were in distress. And then it would fade away. And he later learned as he got older and learned about orbit and all that, he later learned that what he was hearing uh, was something in space, somebody in space passing by over him in orbit and he would hear their distress you know every time they passed overhead i don't know if that's true or not but that's kind of a creepy story it goes right along with this so <clears throat> who knows man well i mean it's just you know it's just like oh man that's such a awesome and terrible way to die like floating through space it's awesome because it's like you're floating through space it's terrible because you're gonna you're gonna poop and pee yourself and run out of oxygen and starve and dehydrate all at the same time pretty much yeah, it's 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 bad Johnston, guys. Don't Definitely. Die. Don't get stranded in space. Definitely bad Johnston. Yeah. Or what if like you encounter like a black hole? Like what happens to you if you like touch that? What's that? I don't know. Do you, do you what what happens? Just or a wormhole? Z- or a tear in space or like a, you know, just get zapped into it. Space physics. I know little of this. Just like that. Are like, what if like the everybody starts to go to space and it's like this big commercial thing and it's like fun, and then all of a sudden you're like on your little space vacation with your family, and then a freaking dead cosmonaut <laughs> boom, run on the side of the capsule. <laughs> Pump, pumps into your capsule. <laughs> right in the window, right in front of the kids. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a dead, decayed cosmonaut right there, kids. Well, he wouldn't be decayed because he's in space. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he, so he would be intact and probably frozen. And just <laughs> that is so terrifying. Oh, that is creepy. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that's partly true because the Russians sent up dogs uh, and yeah, monkeys. Yeah, yeah, they were de- they weren't coming back. Yeah, so there's like dead dogs and monkeys just floating around out there in capsules. Yeah, that's sad. That's terrifying. You know, whatever to get us to the moon. And yet we got to the moon first. Oh, I'm sure we sent up fucked up shit. Yeah, probably. Sal- salamanders and shit. Why would you send a salamander to <laughs> I don't know. Space? You know there's the one sick fucker that's like, I'm going to put this in there. And he closes it real fast. Sisters bras and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so these cosmonauts, you're calling... On these allegations, you're calling... You calling no answer? Yeah, I'm calling. Well, I mean, obviously, according to the the information I'm looking at, they're all uh, hoaxes. I mean, that they're yeah. either the the cosmonauts died on Earth while in training exercises, or they went and did their mission and came back home. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> there's not like you know any accounted for missing unaccounted for people. Yeah, and yeah. That there wasn't any like you know failed mission where a capsule was floating around and they were sending eerie distress calls to uh to earth or anything yeah at least on record that's terrifying though it's like you're, you're just playing with your radio all of a sudden you hear like frantic people yelling about how they're dying it's just like yeah what, what do you do I, uh, yeah. I guess you wait for it to come around the next day <laughs> i don't know but we used to get walkie talkies Shit, I think you may have done this with me a few times. We used to get walkie-talkies and talk to the people on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. We created our own lo- lost cosmonauts. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that, kids. Don't don't, don't be assholes with walkie-talkies. <laughs> yeah. Because <clears throat> we'll find you. No. <laughs> I don't know. Does the FCC monitor walkie-talkies? Um, I, I'm sure they do to some extent. Um... I don't know. I mean, it's not like police band or anything. It's just people just talking to people. I yeah, I, I don't think they... Re- <clears throat> there's, it's impossible to, to monitor all that. Now I want to go get some walkie-talkies. Like a 30-channel, like 60-channel, and just set it on scan and talk to whoever. Mm-hmm. I kind of miss it. <laughs> oh, well. This here's the rubber duck. This is Rubba Ducky coming into Big Town, honk honk. I'm I don't have anything to say. Do you have any last uh, cosmonaut thoughts? Uh, you know, creepy idea, but it's there's no <clears throat> evidence. There's no pudding. No pudding. Maybe 
some pudding will come to the forefront. But until then, I'm calling it. I'm calling it like a skeptic. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's going down. Skeptics. Cool skeptics. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm out. <laughs>